My name is Rena Plowright and I'm a professor at Cornell University in the United States. I'm actually from Australia originally. I'm in France for a little less than five months. I am working with Thierry Boulinier and he is at CEF, which is the Centre for Functional and Evolutionary Ecology. My research looks at how environmental change impacts pathogens in wild animals. And I look at particularly how viruses move from one species to another. So for example, a virus called hendrovirus, and it's in bats in Australia, and we've shown that loss of bat habitat working with climate alteration has led to bats moving from large populations in native forest into small populations in agricultural areas. And then those bats in agricultural areas shed more virus and are more likely to be responsible for the spillover of the virus into other species like horses and humans. And once the pathogens in humans, we can see a pandemic. While in Montpellier, I've been looking at how I can apply the concepts we've learned from bat viruses to other systems. So how could we stop a pandemic of Ebola virus? Or how could we stop uh, the next pandemic of a coronavirus by protecting bat habitat? Right now, there is a lot of attention on how to stop the next pandemic, but almost all of the funding and all of the policy effort is really focused on how to contain an epidemic once it's started. So we're focusing on vaccines and therapeutics and, and somewhat, uh, to some extent, we're also investing in early detection. And so my work is showing that if you go upstream of those processes and you invest in protecting the habitat of the species that host those viruses, that you could be more efficiently preventing the next pandemic. And so we're looking at how we can write policy so that pandemic prevention incorporates this, what we're calling, primary pandemic prevention incorporates nature conservation to stop that spillover event from ever taking place. I was interested in, in working in Europe and particularly France because there is a very progressive attitude here about prevention of pandemics. Montpellier is the base for a French government initiative called Prezode, which is focused on pandemic prevention by protecting the habitats of wild animals and stopping spillover events. And that's a very unusual approach. There are very few places in the world that are doing this. Montpellier is also a very excellent place for ecology and for evolution, which is my expertise and my training. So something unusual about myself, well, I worked in Antarctica. I've been there three times. I've worked on seals and I've worked on penguins. I'm one of the few people to have experienced falling into a crevasse in Antarctica, fortunately surviving that experience. And I have looked at trying to figure out a way to translate my work to Antarctica one day because I would love to go back. But there really aren't many important viruses circulating in Antarctic wildlife, fortunately. 